don't think that's cooled enough. So let's draw what we need to do here. to cut that bit out. If you've got some really good strong scissors you can do that. So that's where we attach the rubber band to the axle. I better poke that through as well. If you bend it like that. Gives us just a little bit, little loop there to hook the rubber band onto. So put a little bit of hot glue on there as well. And that'll hold it in place for us. Leave it that way up and let that cool down. We need to do the wheels now. Just before I do that, because these are old CDs with stuff on them, I'm going to cover them with sticky back paper just to make them look prettier. You don't need to do this at all, but I just like them to look a little bit prettier when they're as rough as that.
Right, glue that in place. You could push the holes through first, or you could leave it until you've got them all glued on, and then do it. There we go. You might need to use a nail or a sharp metal object to push the hole through. Or if they're quite soft bottle tops like these are, you might be able to just push straight through. So that'll do for me. I'll do the other three and then we'll move on. There we go, four wheels done. Didn't get that one very straight. Make sure you've got a tiny gap between the wheel and the end of the drinking straw so that it runs nice and freely. Because I've used the barbecue skewer to make the hole it's a nice, nice tight fit on there. If you do find it's loose then you might need to add some hot glue to stop them spinning round when you tighten up the rubber band. So we're nearly ready. It will work exactly like this because you just wrap the rubber band round the axle so that it wraps over itself and holds itself in place. But if you want to make it easier you can stick a little peg out at right angles to hook the rubber band onto and the way the place you get that peg from is the end of your barbecue skewer. You just need to cut a little piece off. Probably easier if you take it, yeah let's take it off again. Just a short length. Of course you can cut these to length when you're happy. I'm just leaving them full length so you can see what I've been doing. Right, this little bit of hot glue
leave that to cool down a little bit. When it's cooled down a little bit, I'll add some more hot glue round the back of it, like I did on here, and that'll help to hold it in place. There's not a lot of force on there from the rubber band, because it, it's only to hook it on when you start. Once the rubber band's been rotated round a couple of times, it's holding itself in place, and that peg's no longer um, got any force on it. Right. We'll leave that to cool down. I'll find some rubber bands. I suppose we could use these to make it look a bit pretty as well, couldn't we? Okay, I'll go and get some rubber bands and we'll go in the kitchen. <laughs> 